a place of meeting with your God. You're not going to achieve this by your own power. Yes. Jesus was taken in wilderness 40 days and 40 nights. Prayer and fasting. When your enemy catch the secrets about you, battle start in your life. Victor, Victor. You can do better than that. Also, you can do that for our pastor. As you stand, just take your Bible. We continue our series, How to Succeed. Tunendele. The Secret of Success siri ya kufaulu. in the Lord. Katika buwani. And our scripture is in the book of Judges. And it uh, has been a long uh, scripture. But today we are going to start from verse 25 to 27. But for those who have not been with us uh, from the beginning of this series, on your own time you can read from verse 1, Judges chapter 6, uh, till verse 31. Then you will catch the old picture of what we are learning. As you hold your Bible, you are going to prepare also the book of, uh, the, the book of Genesis. Uh, chapter 4, you are going to read verse 1 to 16. Just chapter 6, 25 to 27. That night, the Lord said to Gideon, take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, and put down the altar of Baal that your father has, and cut down the Asherah symbol of the goddess Asherah that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this stronghold, with stones laid in a proper order. Then take the second bull and offer a burnt uh, burn sacrifice with the wood of the Asherah, which you shall cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants and did as the Lord had told him. But because he was too afraid, of his father's household and the men of the city to do it by day, he did it by night. Then we are going to our second reading, Genesis. And uh, Genesis chapter 4, uh, from verse 1 to 16. And Adam knew if as his wife, and she became pregnant, and, and bore Cain, and she said, I have gotten and gained a man with the help of the Lord. And the next, she gave birth to his brother, Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiler of the ground. And in the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the, f the fruits of the ground. And Abel brought of the first, uh, f firstborn 
of his flock and all and of the fat portions. And the Lord had respected and regard for Abel and for his offering. But for Cain and his offering, he had no respect or regard. So Cain was exceedingly angry and indignant, and he looked sad and depressed. And the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? And why do you look sad and depressed and rejected and dejected? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin crouches at your door. Its desire is for you, but you must master it. And Cain said to his brother, let us go out to the field. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. And the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? And he said, I do not know. I am I, my brother keeper. Verse 10. And the Lord said, what have you done? The voice of your brother blood is crying to me for, uh, from the ground. Verse 11. And now you are cast by reason of the earth which has opened its mouth and to receive the, uh, your brother's uh, blood from your hand. Verse 12. When you till the ground, it shall, not, it's, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a figurative and a vagabond on the earth. Verse 13. Then Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Verse 14. Behold, you have driven me out this day from the face of the land, and from your face I will be hidden, and I will be a figurative and a vagabond, and a wanderer on the earth. And whoever finds me will kill me. Verse 15. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, if anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark or a sign upon Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Verse 16. So Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and dwell in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. As you take us through these teachings, the secret of success in you, speak to us through your word. Open our inner ear so that we may understand the mysteries which has been revealed to us. We thank you, King of Glory, because you are ready to communicate to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may have your seat. Thank you for responding for our, uh, to our invitation. Asante kwa kubali, kwa kubali wito wetu. Uh, you are a uh, blessing in this place. Ni ni wabaraka mahali hapa. Uh, I want to take you back for those who have not been with us to understand what is success. Nataka tu, tu uh, kuarejesha nyuma kwa wale ambao jakuwa pamoja nasi kuwaeleza kufaulu ni nini. Because uh, many of time we think... Uh, in our mind, we have a different definition of, about success. But we have to understand the success according to the point of view of God. So that we may not be taken away and follow other people's success, other people's achievements. Uh, success is the fulfillment of your goals. 
Each one of us has a different goal from uh, other. And your goal become your mission. Your goal become the reason behind your existence. As we understand the scripture which says everything was created by God and for him. Either thrones thrones Either power, authority, principality, were created by God and for Him. In other words, whatever was created by God was to serve His purposes, including you and me. Pia wewe nami. We are created in his image so that we may fulfill the purpose of God in our life. That why Jesus, when he was here on earth, he said this, my bread, my bread is to do the will of my father who have sent me my daily routine, my daily routine is to do the will of my father who have sent me. And in other place, Jesus said, I've not come to do my will, but I have come to do the will of my father. The success of Jesus Christ, the achievement of Jesus Christ on earth was the outcome of understanding he was not living for himself but he came to represent his father. That's why wherever he went he, he was given a backup. Nowhere Jesus failed. Jesus didn't struggle in his life to, uh, to achieve anything. When miracle was needed, he didn't struggle to perform miracle. You remember when he went to resurrect Lazarus, he just called the name of Lazarus and Lazarus resurrected. In short, Jesus Christ didn't struggle because power was given to him. The same statement which Jesus gave in Isaiah, which we have there. The Spirit of God is upon me to preach good news, to set free the captive, to heal the sick. In other words, Jesus understood the power which has been vested in me is to enable me to do the will of my Father. And when we are talking about success, you have to understand your success is to fulfill the purpose of God behind your existence. There is a reason of the existence of Manus. There is a, there is a reason for the existence of Pastor Patrick. There is a reason behind my existence. I am the carrier of the mission of God on earth. I represent him here on earth. And when we understand this, the power will be available because God will God will be sure you are not going to misuse his power as we saw in the life of Jesus when the devil wanted him to change the stone to become the bread and Jesus understood yes I have the power the spirit of God is upon me to perform miracles, to do wonders, but that power which is vested in me is not to do the will of anybody else. 
but to do the will of him who sent me yes I am in need yes I am angry I have been in, in 40 days fast and day and night I need food now but I was not sent to obey other people's voice but I was sent to obey the voice of my God it's not God who has, uh, who has, who has uh, spoke to me to change the stone to become a bridge. But this is the devil. Despite I have power. But I will not misuse it. This power which I have. It will resurrect Lazarus. This power which I have. Will multiply fish and bread. But it's not to answer the demand of the devil. By the way, by the way, I'm not the servant of the of the devil. But I am the, the, the servant of God. I only receive order from God. Praise be the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. My success is to fulfill the purpose of God in my life. And we have to understand when we fulfill the purpose, when we are in the purpose of God, in other words, we are in the kingdom. We are working in the kingdom. And the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, seek he for the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all other things shall be added to you. As I pursue the will of God, as I am in the purpose of God, all those things which I need, it shall be added unto me. Praise be the name of Jesus. Success is not pursuing other people's achievements. As I gave you an example, uh, that lady was talking to me. He wanted me to feel like God has not done anything in my life. Because he was showing me what I don't have. And spoke to me. See what God has done to me. And me, I showed her what God has done to me. What God has done to me was his purpose in my life. That is my mission. Yes, I don't have what she had. But I have what God called me for. She has achieved her goals. And me, I have achieved my goal. I am success and she has succeeded in her dream. Despite I don't have what she had. Praise be the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. That's why when you understand what God has called you for, nobody will take you away. You will not follow other people's vision. Because you have your vision. You have your mission. Different from the mission of Manus. Praise be the name of Jesus. That is the definition of success. You to fulfill what God called you to fulfill here on earth. And I remember I asked you, do you know your purpose of existence? What do you think God called you to do here on earth? Some of us we were in the field of business. But he picked us. Because he knew 
Because that was not the reason of our existence. Kwa sababu hiyo haikuwa kusudi la kukua kwetu. Have you discovered the purpose of God behind your existence? Je, umetambua kusudi la Mungu nyuma kwa kukua kwako? Are you following other people wherever they go? Au unafuata watu wengine pale wanaenda? Praise be the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because at the end, kwa sababu pale mwisho everyone will give reports of his life kila mtu atatoa kile ambacho alifanya hapa duniani hallelujah hallelujah now our first reading and go let to la kwangu you have read in the book of judges chapter 6 from verse 25 to 27 leo soma kitabu cha waamuzi 6 kwa kwanza 25 mpaka 27 this scripture is uh, this events it's after matokeo haya ni baada uh, gideon has responded to the messenger who was sent to him by God. Baada Gideon kupokea ujumbe ambao alitumiwa na Mungu. And in our study we are learning to the life of Gideon. Na kwa kusoma kwetu tumeangalia maisha ya Gideon. And Gideon was just a common man. Gideon alikuwa tu mtu wa kawaida. He was defeated in his life. Alikuwa ameshindwa maishani. He experienced failure in his life. Alipitia kushindwa maishani mwake experiencing failure in your life upitia kushindwa maishani mwako does not mean god is not with you haimaanishi mungu hayuko pamoja does not mean god has no plan with you haimaanishi mungu ana kusudi na does not mean you are not in the will of god haimaanishi hauko katika mapenzi ya mungu because even gideon experienced failure in his life kwa sababu nae gideon pia alipitia kushindwa he was defeated by the midianites alishindwa na midian until he shifted paka akatoka pali pake and live in caves akaenda kuishi mashimoni they abandon their estates wakacha majumba zao they abandon their mansions wakacha majumba zao they abandon their properties wakacha mali yao and live in in hiding place na wakaishi kwa maficho this part he was living in hiding hajalishi walikuwa anaishi kwa maficho this man to who you God has a vision over him. Mungu alikuwa na wito maishani mwake. He was a savior. Alikuwa mkombozi. He was a mighty man. Alikuwa mtu mkuu. I don't know how many time you have experienced failure in your life. Sijui ni mara ngapi umeshuhudia kushindwa. I don't know how many time you have been defeated in your life. Sijui ni mara ngapi umeshindwa maishani. There is a rise in you. Kuna wito ndani mwako. Because Gideon experienced failure. Kwa sababu Gideon alipitia. He was beaten. Alishindwa. What was what was his it was taken by other people Kile kilikuwa chake kilichukuliwa na watu wengine I don't know if uh, somebody has taken what is yours Sijui kwa mtu amenya kwa kile kilichotako because he's powerful than you Kwa sababu kuna nguvu kukuliko That was the condition the situation of Gideon Hiyo nilikuwa hali ya Gideon But when a messenger was sent to him lakini wakati mjumbe alitumwa kwake and he responded positively na akakubali wito huo he believed what the, the messenger has spoken to him aliamini kila macho mjumbe alimwambia and the message of this uh, of this messenger na ujumbe huu ulikuwa was contrary to the thought which Gideon has for himself ulikuwa tofauti na mawazo ambayo Gideon alikuwa nayo kumhusu Gideon has a different thought about himself Gideon alikuwa na mawazo tofauti kumhusu Gideon the, uh, acknowledge himself Gideon alijitambua au somebody who come in a small family kama mtu ambaye ametoka katika jamaa ndogo a weak family jamii ambayo itambuliki which cannot uh, be considered ambayo haizi tambulika kokote Gideon considered himself Gideon alijitambua as a failure kama mtu aliyeishi because he was living in hiding places sababu alikuwa anaishi katika maficho But when the message was given to him lakini wakati ujumbe ulimpatia when the message was delivered to him wakati ujumbe ulimfikia Gideon responded positively Gideon akakubali ujumbe huo your action matendo yako after what god has spoken in your spirit baada ya ile baada ya mungu kunena katika roho yako it will determine what god will do itaashi next kile mungu atafanya baada hayo because god does not walk with us with feelings hatembei nasi kwa hisia hatembei nasi kwa hisia but he walk with us lakini anatembea nasi by faith kwa imani if you believe ikiwa utaamini he will walk with you utatembea naye 
but the the, 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 uh, the response of of Gideon response yake Gideon showed the faith ila shuria imani yake he accepted the message given to him nimekubali ujumbe umenipatia and the message called him a mighty man na ujumbe huo ulimuita mtu mkuu when he was running for his life okay. When he was hiding somewhere and the message which was delivered to him was you are a mighty man and this man believed that message and he went and in his home and spoke to the angel they, they speak to that person don't leave this place until i come back you have given me a revelation about myself i didn't believe in myself i was living in low esteem But I know who I am. Because you have revived the spirit in me. You have revived the lion inside me. I know I'm no more a failure. I am a mighty man. You cannot leave this place like that. I have to bless you. I have to bless you. I have to offer my sacrifice to you. That was the risk the positive response of of, of Gideon. He only liko response yake to Gideon. Praise be the name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu lisifiwe. When God sends his word to you, wakati Mungu anatuma neno lake kwako, God will not send the next the, the second word. Mungu hatatuma neno lifuatalo until you act according the first one. Paka ufanye kazi kulingana na neno la kwanza. Then he will give you the second. Hapo ndipo atakupatia neno la pili. Praise be the name of Jesus. Now the verse which you have read in uh, Judges 6 verse 25 to 27. Ndiko ambao tumesoma wa Muzi 6 kuanzia chapter 5. This is the outcome. Hii ni matokeo. Or after Gideon had responded positively. Baada Gideon kukubali. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, God knew. Mungu alijua this man has believed this message. Mtu huyu amepokea ujumbe huu. He has believed this message. Ameamini ujumbe huu. We can take now a next step with him. Sasa tunaweza enda eneo lingine. We can take a next step with him now. Tunaweza enda kiwango kingine naye. He is in agreement with us. Akona na makubaliano nani? He believe is a mighty man. Anaamini yeye ni mtu mkuu. He believe is not a failure. Anaamini yeye hajashindwa. He believe is not a defeated person. Ana anaamini kwamba yeye He believe he is a champion. Anaamini yeye ni mtu wa He believe he is a deliverer. Anaamini yeye ni mkombozi. We can take a next step with this man. Sasa tunaweza enda kiwango kingine na mtu huyu. Then God spoke to him. Sasa Mungu akamnenea. In the night. Kwa usiku. That night the Lord said to Gideon Take your father bull the second bull seven years old and pull down the altar of Baal that your father has and cut down the Asherah symbol of goddess Asherah that is beside it and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this strong god with stones laid in proper order then take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the asherah which you shall cut one as if you praise the lord now god after gideon respond positively believe what the messenger has spoken to him baada gideon kuamini kile ambayo alinenewa na mjumbe huyo now god command gideon sasa mungu akamamrisha gideon go and to your father kwa alta kwa baba ya baba yako the alta oh, 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 oh. the alta which your father has madhabao ambayo baba yako ako nayo destroy it yaribu and the ashera which is beside it na ashera ambayo iko ndani iko kando yake destroy it ivunje hello hello the altar of baal madabao ya baali which your father has ambayo baba yako ako nayo 
This is the altar of God of Baal. This is the altar which your father has. Belong to Baal, the God of fatality. Your father has an altar there. It's not mine. Belong to another God. Who is inferior to me. It doesn't matter I have called you. It doesn't matter I have selected you. I am a jealous God. I will never share my glory with anyone. There is an altar of Baal which your father uses. I know it. But I'm about to use you. I'm about to lift you high. I'm about to use you. You have been defeated despite the goal the, the, the altar of Baal which your father has. You are living in caves. You are living in limitation. Even when you have that altar of, 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 of Baal. Now me God I have come for you. I want to demonstrate my power. I want to liberate my people. But if I do so, and if that altar is still there, they will brag it's our altar of Baal which has saved us. You have to destroy it because you know it. It belongs to your father. It belongs to your mama. You know the faith of your mama. You, do, you know the belief of your mama. You know what your mama used to, to, to tell you. Every time you go to Ushago, he gives you some secrets. This is our belief. This is our faith. This is how our God told us to do it. Hello? Hello? Gideon was not sent to destroy what he don't know. But he was sent to destroy what he knew. I want to use you. But I cannot share my glory. In your family, there is other gods there. There are other practices which go on there. And when you go to Ushago, there are practices which you do there. You don't know why you do it. But they, they just tell you, this is our, it's our culture. This is our culture. We don't know where it came from. We found ourselves doing it. And if you belong to us, you have to do this. You have to do this. Yes, you are born again. Yes, you are redeemed. But there are certain culture which you still doing. And because God will never share his glory with any other. You are living in limitation. You are living in trouble. When you have promises and promises. And God spoke to this man, Gideon. You know the altar of Baal. Which your father has. You know the belief of your family. You cannot be different from what you believe. You are what you believe. As the Bible says, as a man thinks he is in his heart, it's how he will be. You cannot be different from your faith. If you believe in prosperity, prosperity will be a portion. If you believe in poverty, poverty will be a portion. Because we live according to what we believe. And whatever you believe become the result of your life. 
Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Na Gideon huyo alikuwa ameitwa na Mungu. Gideon alijua kwamba ameitwa na Mungu. Na Mungu alitaka amtumie. And God wanted to use him. Mungu alitaka afanye kazi pamoja naye. God wanted to work with him. Lakini Mungu akamaliza siwezi kukutumia. But God told him I can't use him. Wewe mwenyewe uende kubomoa hizo vitu. You yourself go and destroy those altars. Uharibu hizo vitu. Destroy those altars. Then ujenge now a new altar. Then build a new altar. Build an altar to the Lord. Jenga madhabahu kwa Mungu. Destroy the altar of devil. Ribu madhabahu ya shetani. Destroy a demonic altar. Ribu madhabahu ya shetani. A demonic altar, madhabahu ya shetani, inaleta uharibifu. Brings destruction. Inaleta laana. Brings curses. Inaleta magonjwa. Brings disease. Inaleta uharibifu. Brings destruction. Inaleta limitation. Brings limitation. Inaleta vizuizi. Brings limitation. Na madhabahu ya Mungu But the altar of God leta uzima brings life because we said kwa sababu tulisema an altar is a reverse platform bauni pali pa menuliwa where the divinity meets the humanity mungu unapatana na watu it is a evil altar kiwa ni madhaba uovu it means it's where the evil spirits mansha ni pali ro meet the humanity unapatana na utu misfortune misfortune rejection kukataliwa sickness maugonjwa premature death Kufa, uh, those uh, are brought uh, by evil altars hayo ni matokeo ya madhabahu maovu are you together with me jem kwa pamoja nasi kila kitu inafanyika kwa maisha yako everything that's happening in your life there is a spirit behind it kuna roho nyuma yake and that spirit gain power na roho hiyo ilipata nguvu to the altar kupitia madhabahu which support that spirit ambayo inaibeba in other words kwa maneno mengine the altar carry the weight madhabahu unabeba uzito of a family wa familia altar carry the weight of a family madhabahu unabeba uzito wa familia in other words it's a foundation kwa maneno mengine ni foundation It's your foundation is weak. Ikiwa chanzo chako ni ni weak. Can you take a building at higher? Je, utajenga juu? It will come down. Ikiwa hapo chini haina nguvu. Are we together church? Despite Gideon was called by God. Haijalishi Gideon alitwa na Mungu. But God knew what was eaten these people. Lakini Mungu alikuwa anajua ni nini kinakula watu hawa. Wanapanda the the plant madui wanakuja na collect kila kitu enemies come and harvest wanaacha nyumba zao wanaanza ishi mafichoni leave the houses and go and live na mungu kila ambao kinaangamiza watu god knew that what is destroying this people foundation ambao wanajengea maisha yao kwa foundation they build in the lives upon ni masabao ambao wanaamini the altars they believe na ni masabao ya shetani these are the altars of the new god ya miungu ya kigeni these are the altars of the new gods ambao haiwezi kuzalisha chochote that can't result in anything ndio mungu amemzunguzia funcha hiyo kwanza bomoa hiyo haribu hiyo destroy that first destroy it hello hello then ujenge mungu yake then you build to god his altar then now we we jeng in proper way and build it in a proper way then sacrifice on top of it the Allah. second bull utoe madhabahu utoe zaka juu ya madhabahu hiyo bwana asifiwe praise god Na nikawa nazungumza madhabahu. Pana mafundisho mengi yanaendelea zaidi saa hizi kuhusu madhabahu. There are many lessons being taught. Jenga madhabahu, jenga madhabahu, jenga madhabahu. Build an altar, build this altar, build this altar. In new covenants, kwa agano jipya, Jesus is our sacrifice. Mungu ndiye uh, Yesu ndiye zaka yetu. Praise be the name of Jesus. He is our redeemer he is our savior. Now in our day what is this altar? If the former altar used to connect the divinity to humanity. 
this anchor which we are talking about it after catching a revelation about your life after understanding your identity in the Lord after you catch the vision of God over your life it's not time to run and go you have to raise an altar of prayer Prayer is the altar which connects us to divinity. Call unto me and I will reveal to you the secrets. It's only prayer which takes us in the, in the spiritual realms. It's only life of prayer which open our spiritual eyes and we can see what God has for us. We can see our blessings. We can see what God has programmed for us. If you are a man of prayer, a woman of prayer, nothing will just... We, 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 Nothing will happen by surprise. Hello? No. If you are a man, a woman of prayer, before anything happens, God will speak to you. Vision, signs. Because he's saying the book of Amos. I will do nothing without revealing to my servants. Whatever God has for you, you don't need a prophet to come to speak to you. God is available. We are living in a new dispensation. We are living in a new, in new covenant. The curtain was cut in two. Everybody can accept the holy of holy. You don't need somebody who I am your prophet. You don't need somebody who tell you I am your prophet. The curtain is no longer there. The curtain was cut in two. Which means the holy and the holiest takes no any pazia you can access there. You can hear from God. God can show you vision about your life. And this will happen when you have raised an altar of prayer. You know why we fell in life? We have prophecies but unfulfilled prophecies. Because when God speaks to us, we enter in feasts. We enter in feasts. We want, to, we want celebration. We, we, want, we start celebrating. Oh, God has spoken to me. I know who I am. What God has spoken to you, has spoken to you are spiritual. Everything starts from spirits before it materializes. In the physical world. Jesus existed since the beginning. When the angel spoke to Mary. Mary conceived a spiritual baby. After nine months. The spiritual became the physical. Jesus existed since the beginning. But for him to come in the world, he had to come out of the spirit into the physical realm. That's why you see your life in dream. You see good things in dream. And you enjoy in dream. God show you what I have for you. This is your house. This is your family. This is your machinery. This is your office. This is your business. He shows you in the spirit. But it's only prayer we transfer things in the spirit and come to the manifestation. 
Because if you pray about what God has spoken to you, it means you believe that vision. You believe this is the life which God has shown me. I want it to come to the manifestation. I want it to become a reality. Every night you are before him. God, you show me a life. This is not my life. I want to live the other life you show me. I want that office which you show me. I want that company which you show me. This is not my business. This is not of my level. I know what you show me. Every night you trouble him. Every night you call him. I want to see it. I want to see the real life. I want to manifest. I want to manifest. I'm not yet manifested. Because I, I, I saw what you show me. After Gideon understood the purpose of God. God now spoke to him. Deal with the hindrance of your family. There is an altar there. There is a certain practice which go on in your family. There is something which you are doing. Which you are doing. Which is not according to my law. But according to the law of your people. You have to stop it. You have to destroy it. For me to use you. And you have to raise a new altar. You have, you have to raise an, an altar. Which are dedicated, dedicated to me. So that I may have. Where to land. And to visit you. Communicate to you. Influence you. Empower you. I need someone where to land. I cannot land to the altar of Baal. It's not mine. I cannot use the altar of Baal. It's not mine. You have to be mine. Where I will land and touch your life. Communicate with you. Influence you. Empower you. Build you up. You have to build mine. Which is dedicated to me. After God has spoken to you, after knowing the plan of God over your life, after knowing what God wants to do with your company, you have to raise an altar. This will not be the church of God if there is no prayer which goes on in this place. There are people in their houses they have rooms, they call it room of prayer. But they don't have time to pray. The room will not pray for you. The, the altar needs a sacrifice. Are we together? You have a place where uh, you say, this is my place, this is my altar. But you don't have time of prayer. Because there is no, there, there is no altar without sacrifice. Prayer is sacrifice. Sacrifice. You deny yourself other things. When other people are, are watching matches, are watching series, are busy making friends online, 